this book is going to destroy me. I don't know how I'm going to survive this. I don't want to talk about it. I hated the ending for this book. I laughed, I cried, I had many epiphanies. <laughs> Like, why does it end like that? Why does it end like that? Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I am very excited for today's video because I'm going to be doing a reading experiment, which I have never done before, but I'm going to be reading a booktuber's favorite books. And I'm really excited about this video because I have been watching booktube for many, many years now. I've been watching it for like four, five-ish years, and I started making booktube videos about a year ago, and I've just really loved booktube for so long now and I love watching new creators and listening to people talk about their favorite books like it's the main reason why I started booktube in the first place because I just wanted to make a little community where I can talk about all of the books that I love and I just love booktube in general. Over the years I have curated I guess like my little list of booktubers that I love and trust with their recommendations and I just know that if I buy any book that they recommend that I'm going to enjoy it because we have similar taste and one of those booktubers is A Clockwork Reader. I have been watching her videos for many many years now at this point. I love her videos, I love her energy and I just love everything about her videos like they're really relaxing to watch. I have read some books over the years that she has recommended and I really enjoyed them and I'm really excited to dip my toes into this little reading experiment and read some of her favorite books. So I have four books here that I have I guess grabbed from different videos where she has talked about books that she really loves and I have a bit of a variety of like genres here but these are all books that I have heard her rave about and I've just been dying to read and I just keep putting it off because I don't know if I'm gonna like them or not but I'm just really excited to get into this video and read A Clockwork Reader's favorite books. The first book that I have on this list is Five Centimeters Per Second. I don't really know what this is about but I just know that it's a manga and it's a romance and that it's really heartbreaking but also really cute but I just heard really good things from Hannah obviously she loves this manga and she said that it absolutely destroyed her so can't wait to get into this one and see how I feel about it. This next book I honestly didn't know even existed until I watched Hannah's videos and she was raving about this book and how much she loves it and that is The Stationery Shop. I once again don't know what this is about but I just know that it's kind of like a historical fiction with a romance weaved into it and I've heard that it's also really heartbreaking but that the writing and the story is just beautiful. I've been wanting to read this one for a while now and I'm so excited to finally get to it and I just think the cover is so pretty too like the gold foiling and the deckled edges are like so cool so I'm really excited to read this one also. This next book is a recent Hannah favorite and she said that it's like one of her new favorite books of all time and that is A Sorcery of Thorns. She compared this to like Howl's Moving Castle I think if I'm not mistaken or some sort of Studio Ghibli film which I have not seen any Studio Ghibli films except for Spirited Away but I've just heard that this book is beautiful and that the writing and like the romance and everything about this is just beautiful so I'm really excited to dip my toes into fantasy because it has been a while since I have read a fantasy book but I'm excited to get reacquainted with the genre because it has been a while. This next book I think is like a Hannah staple like when you think of a clockwork reader this is the book that you think about because she has loved this book for years and it's one of her all-time favorite books and that book is The Night Circus. I have an interesting relationship with this book because I actually read it in high school and I really didn't like it. I gave it three stars. I just wasn't a fan of the writing or the characters or really anything. I thought it was like objectively a pretty good book but it just wasn't for me. Like I thought it was kind of boring and I actually gave it away to a friend like a year ago I think. But this book has been on my mind for a few months now and I keep seeing quotes 
I keep seeing people reading it. My reading taste has changed a lot since high school so I think that now I'm really gonna be able to appreciate this story and the writing and the world building and I just think I'm really gonna enjoy it now because I just my taste has changed a lot and I think that now is the perfect time to revisit this story because I'm gonna be able to look at it with new eyes and a new perspective and just new everything because I am a different person than I was back in high school and I'm just really excited to revisit this one because I really do feel like I'm gonna love it so yeah those are the books that I'm gonna be reading for this reading experiment I don't know where to start I might honestly start with five centimeters per second because it is like the shortest one to get through because it is a manga but I'm really excited about all of these so I'm really not sure which one I'm going to read first but um yeah so I'm really excited for this video and let's get into the reading experiment. All right and then next up I read what is probably now one of just like my new all-time favorites that I'm so excited to talk about. This book completely took me by surprise and that book is The Stationery Shop by Madjan Kamali. This book is so good like I don't know what to tell you just read it literally read it. you guys on this freaking book because i'm literally like going insane so i started reading the stationery shop and this book <laughs> this book is going to destroy me i don't know how i'm going to survive this because i've already teared up like twice and i've read 47 pages like i've never had that strong of a reaction to a book before but there's just something about this book that is eliciting such like a strong reaction for me that i just i literally cannot like i've been at first i was just tabbing but i've started highlighting because i just i need to highlight these freaking passages like oh my god like the one that well they all really stood out to me but that one little sentence that I really loved. Where is it? Alright. <laughs> she melted into the spines of the books as he whispered in her ear, his body close to hers, his hand daring to touch hers again whenever they were alone. Before long, there is no place she'd rather be. Like, <laughs> that is beautiful. Every single sentence that I've read so far is beautiful. Like, I have one page that's almost fully highlighted because it's just so beautiful and I just I, I know that this book is going to destroy me and I don't know if I'm ready for that so I am now on part three which is page 140 no 167 and I am loving this so so much like look at all my tabs most of them are pink because there have just been so many moments that i love and so many quotes that i love and they're just so beautifully written and so beautifully told like this book is just beautiful like i don't think i can properly describe just how beautiful this book is like, this story is just told so beautifully and in the beginning you kind of know how it ends like from chapter one you get more or less an idea of how it ends and you're basically just preparing yourself for the inevitable heartbreak and devastation is going to happen. I don't think I'm able to like properly articulate just how much I am loving this book. Like this is probably one of my new favorite books that I've ever read and I'm not even done with it. I still have like this much left. Hoping I can finish it today. I started it yesterday and I really want to finish it today because I just want to see what happens and how this ends and I just know it's going to be absolutely devastating and I don't think I'm ready for this. I just wanted to give that little update before the inevitable heartbreak and devastation. 
So it has been 24 hours and I think I am now ready to talk about the stationery shop. Um, if you see me holding out my pinky like this, it's because I just smashed it in between my armrest and my desk and it's kind of red and it really hurts. And I have Icy Hot on it right now because I didn't feel like putting ice on it. So yeah, I did finish the stationery shop last night and it was... It was so, so good. Like, it's been over 24 hours since I finished it, and I still don't think that I can articulate just how much I love this book. Like, this was the most beautiful, heartbreaking, devastating romance, and it was just so beautiful, and it was like the epitome of right person wrong time and it was just so heartbreaking and there's letters that they send each other in this book and it's just so beautiful i need you guys to read this book because it is so so good like if you're emotionally prepared for this and if you're ready to sob your eyes out then i highly recommend this book because it is so good and the ending was just devastating and just the way that it all tied together in those last couple of chapters I literally lost my mind like I could not stop crying because just the way that <sighs> you, yeah I, I, I can't go into too much detail with this book because I don't want to spoil it and it's really hard to 
not spoil this book because no one I know has read it, so I can't talk about it with anyone. I've been sitting here trying to like articulate how I feel about this book in like some coherent way, but every time I think about this book, I just think of beautiful writing, heartbreaking romance, and just a really sad but amazing time. Like, this book caused me pain, but in such a good way because I'm so happy that I read this because it is probably one of my new favorite books because it was just so beautiful from start to finish. Like, from page 9, I literally posted on my Instagram story that I'm on page 9 and I'm already obsessed with it, and it's true because from the first couple of pages, you just get immersed into this beautiful writing and this beautiful story and at the beginning you kind of know how it's going to end and then towards the end when it like all ties together and it gets expanded upon more it's just I <laughs> I tabbed a lot and highlighted a lot but towards the end here um, I couldn't bother to highlight or underline or anything because I was literally sobbing my eyes out. So in between like sobs, I would just put a pink tab down and just keep going because I didn't want to like pull myself out of the store. I just wanted to keep going but I did want to tab those moments that I really loved. So I will go back eventually and like underline and highlight those things that I didn't because I just want to be able to look through and find all of the moments that I really loved, but yeah, I really enjoyed this book. I have a few dog ear moments. I can find, they're kind of hard to find with the duckle edges, but I have like three or four like dog ear moments that are just <laughs> so beautiful. Oh god, I can't. No, 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 I cannot. No, I'm going to. I'm going to. Stop, 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 stop. Oh my god, okay. I'm just gonna stop here because I literally don't know what else I can say about this book without being so repetitive, but I love this book. New favorite book of all time. It's gonna go on my favorite shelf right there where it belongs, and I just, I love it so much. I obviously gave it five stars. I laughed, I cried, I had many epiphanies <laughs> and it was just just a beautiful beautiful experience i i'm just so happy that i finally read this book after putting it off for so long and yeah i just i love this book so so much but um yeah i don't know what i'm going to read next i have the other three books but I don't know what I want to read because I don't want to um cry again <laughs> so I might go into Sorcery of Thorns or the Night Circus I'm not sure because I kind of do want something that's not going to make me sob my eyes out again but um yeah Sorcery of Thorns is how many pages oh it's like almost 500 pages I don't know about okay I don't know if I'm ready to do that right now um, Night Circus is under 400 pages? Huh. Interesting. So, I might read The Night Circus next because it is the shortest between these two. I honestly don't know what I'm going to read next because I have two, like, fantasy-ish books and then I have a super sad manga. But <laughs> I don't think I'm going to read the manga because I don't want to cry right now. I think I'm all out of tears for the moment, so might read Sorcery of Thorns, might read The Night Circus, still not sure yet, but once I do decide what I'm going to read next, I will update you guys. It is just immaculate perfection, everything I could have ever wanted. It's one of my new favorite books of all time. I am in love. If I were to give someone a list of books that I would describe as like Hannah books, books that perfectly encapsulate my taste this would be on that list. So I finished 
finished reading A Sorcery of Thorns last night and I don't really know what to say about this book because I didn't really care much about the world or the plot or the story in general but I really loved the characters. I really loved Elizabeth, Nathaniel, and Silas and their whole relationship and their dynamic which is really interesting and their banter was really funny and I just really enjoyed all three of the main characters. And I especially liked Nathaniel and Elizabeth's relationship and their dynamic. I just really enjoyed their dynamic. I don't know, something about those two I just really loved and like the whole slow burn of it. I really enjoyed that part of it. Like I loved those three characters but again the story itself i just didn't really care much about like in theory it seems really interesting because it's a book about books and these books kind of have like a life of their own and each book has like a different meaning and like kind of like their own personality which i think is really interesting but i didn't really care much about like the villain and his whole story and them trying to go on this mission to defeat the villain because he basically like released this really dangerous book like grimoire out into the world and they're basically trying to stop him from wreaking havoc onto the world which in theory seems really interesting but I just couldn't really connect with the story I don't know what it was but just something about it I just wasn't really connecting with but I really enjoyed the characters and I loved the writing like the writing was really beautiful I was listening to the audiobook mostly and as I was listening I would like write down in my notes on my phone like the quotes that I really enjoyed because I thought they were, they were really beautiful and again the characters are really did it for me with this story and I don't know I'm kind of disappointed because I thought that I was really gonna like it because it just seemed really interesting and I thought I was really gonna enjoy it but sadly I didn't so I'm just gonna give this one three star. It's not a bad book by any means. It's beautifully written but I just didn't really connect with the story or care much for anything about the story besides the characters. And I, I ate it up. I loved it. I loved it. It was so satisfying. It was infuriating and heart-wrenching. It made me cry a lot and I loved it. I, I truly loved it. <laughs> finished five centimeters per second and I hated the ending for this book when Hannah was saying that the ending is so frustrating she wasn't lying because it just like why does it end like that why does it end like that I <laughs> I was literally just like sitting and staring into nothing after I finished this because I did not like the ending at all but besides the ending I thought that the story was really beautiful We're basically following these two kids who meet in middle school and they form a beautiful relationship like friendship and one day one of them well they both move far away and it's just them struggling to keep in touch with each other and kind of moving on with their lives but still thinking about the other person not being able to like fully move on from them and just it's it's just it's really heartbreaking i yeah i thought that it was really beautiful the story was beautiful and just it was just really beautiful. I didn't cry, which I thought I was gonna cry honestly, but for some reason I didn't cry, but I thought that it was a beautiful story and I really enjoyed it, but I did not like the ending at all. So I think I'm gonna give this one four stars. I actually really enjoyed how the story panned out because it didn't go the way that I was expecting it to because I was thinking and hoping that I was gonna go one way but it went another way instead and i thought it was really interesting and i don't know i really enjoyed it it was a really quick read i read it in like two days but i probably could have read it in one sitting if i had 
like the time to just sit down and read it in one sitting but if you want a quick little read or you want to get into manga and don't want the commitment of like a super long like 40 volume series and this is a nice standalone and i'm really interested in watching the movie because i've heard that it's really beautiful and there are just so many like images in here that i really want to see animated in color on the screen so i'm definitely going to be giving the movie a watch one of these days. And of course, lastly on my list of all-time favorite standalones, the book that everyone was waiting for because I never shut up about it, The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. Genuinely, how many more times do I have to mention this book before everyone reads it? I don't know. I feel like I push it in every single video, but if you haven't read it yet, this is your next chance. This is me reminding you to pick it up finally. <laughs> circus last night and I did not like this book <laughs> I feel so bad saying this because I know so many people love this book I know that Hannah loves this book but I just did not like it at all I thought that it was really slow and it was kind of boring and the writing was beautiful but I didn't really care about the characters or this whole like competition or anything and I didn't really believe or care about the romance and yeah I just didn't really like this story and I really thought I was gonna like it which is why I'm so upset about this like I really thought that I was gonna love it the second time around but if anything I liked it even less the second time around <laughs> it took over like a hundred pages for something to happen but even when that something did happen I didn't really care at all like I was just kind of I was basically forcing myself to finish this book it's been like over a week and a half since I started this and it's taken me that long to finish it I really had such high expectations but I just did not like it I gave it three stars the first time that I read this back in 2017, but I think I'm gonna give it, give it two stars <laughs> this time. It was kind of a chore to get through because I was trying to read it physically for the first like 100 something pages, but then I was like, I cannot do this. So I thankfully had the, was able to get the ebook from my library. So I was reading it on my Kindle, but even then I was like, falling asleep as I was reading it because it was just really boring and then I decided to try with the audiobook that I found on YouTube because I couldn't find it on Libby or Scribd and with that I was kind of able to continue with the story but even that I was still basically forcing myself to finish this book which I normally do not do like if I don't like a book I'll DNF it but since I was doing this like reading experiment, reading like clockwork reader video. I didn't want to DNF a book for this video specifically, but if I was reading this like on my own, I probably would have DNF'd it at like a hundred something pages. But yeah, I'm happy that I was able to finish it <laughs> because I was kind of losing my mind for a minute there. I was like, I don't think I'm ever gonna finish reading this book. I kept wanting to DNF it, but my friend was pushing me to finish it. She was like, you can do it. You're almost there. And I eventually did finish it finally. But yeah, I I don't really know what else to say about this book other than that I just didn't like it and that it wasn't for me. I can see why people like it. It's a really beautiful, like slow, atmospheric story. But I learned that those stories are not for me. So... I'm really upset about that. So those are all the books for the Reading Like a Clockwork Reader reading experiment and I had a lot of fun making this video. This video was like two weeks in the making but it's been a really fun like past two weeks reading all of these books and seeing how I feel about them compared to how Hannah felt about them and I just think it's really interesting that I had many different 
thoughts and feelings for all of these books. I found a new all-time favorite, which was the stationery shop. And then this one was five stars, obviously. And then we have Sorcery of Thorns, which was three stars. Love the characters. Didn't really care about anything else. And then five centimeters per second. Gave it four stars. Thought it was cute. Thought it was really sad. And I hated the ending. And then we have... If I can grab it. Night Circus. Yeah. I, yeah, I just think it's really interesting that I had so many different feelings for these books and I just think that's, a, that's what's really interesting about reading in general and especially like following booktubers because they might love certain books that you don't like and the other way around and that's just what, that's just what makes booktube interesting because everyone likes different things and not everyone loves the same books like I didn't like some of these books here but other people might like them and I just think that that's what makes the world and more interesting. Everyone on booktube had the exact same feelings for all of the exact same books. It wouldn't be as fun. So I just thought it was really fun exploring my favorite booktubers, favorite books, and I'm really excited to continue this series. Like I have a list in my phone of a bunch of other booktubers that I want to do videos on in this little like booktuber taste test series. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to working on those in the future. I'm also really happy that I finally read a lot of these books because a lot of these have been on my TBR for so, so long and now I have finally read them and it just feels really good to finally read books that you were really looking forward to. If you have any booktubers that you want to see me do a reading experiment slash taste test for, let me know in the comments below because I might already have that on my list or I might not. So yeah, let me know what other booktubers you want to see me do reading experiments for and just reading experiments in general because I want to try out doing different like reading experiments like this because I think it's just going to be a lot of fun but um yeah so that's it for this video thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one bye